Hey guys, I'm Tim. I'm the owner of Natural Forces Massage. Thanks for tuning in to our YouTube channel. Before we start this video, I would like you to hit subscribe and like this video, like some of our others. This is part of our mobility and stability training. It's, going, it's taught to me by Paul Kelly from Physiokinetic Training. His link will be in the description as well. Today we are going to go over a unilateral hip press with bands and also some good techniques along with that that will help with lengthening your nerves, you know, nerve flossing and helping your lower back pain. You know, it's, this exercise is really good all, all around, you know, for your shoulders, for your abs, for your core, your, your, you know, hip flexors, your glutes, everything. So today I have Miss Emmeline here in this video. So why I have her in this, I'm going to show you all, I will do the exercise and I'm going to have her follow because it kind of shows everyone can do it. You know, it's not, you don't have to be you know, used to these exercises to be able to do this, you know, I'm going to coach her and it also helps me coach you guys if y'all, if, as I coach her how to do it. All right, so here's where we'll get started. I'll show you the first one is you get down on your knee, just roll to your back. You can do this on your bed too if you can't get to the ground. I like that and put one of these Pilates mats on your bed to firm it up. Don't do this exercise if you haven't gotten good at exercises one through five, you know, I have another six on there and that goes the same thing. You don't want to do that one until you've gotten really good at number one through five. All right, so here we go. This is, no, 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 you, you, don't, you don't do it yet. <laughs> I'm not gonna make you lay on the ground and me lay on a mat. <laughs> She's such a good, good sport. <laughs> so what you're gonna do, you're gonna put your arms back like this and, and then as you go into a bridge position like this, you're gonna come up with one leg. It's going to be, and then push your arms straight down into the floor. So if this is working, my glute, my abs, my hip flexor over here holding my leg up, you know, my shoulders pushing down. Don't tense your neck up while you do this and go down. You can switch to the other leg. Make sure your legs are a little bit wide and come up through your heels. Same thing like this, push up, push down. Definitely good for stability for your hips and your core. All right, so that's the first one. The second exercise that I'm going to show is a, is a nerve flossing technique. You're going to basically start here and go up like that. Engage your core. Don't strain your neck when you do this. Just like that, and we're gonna do the other one. What this does, it lengthens that nerve that goes from my lumbar spine into my feet. If I, you know, most people when they're st stretching their leg, they're not including this part, so it's only stretching this part. You know, it's not really lengthening it, the entire nerve. So when you come up, you get the whole nerve involved. So just like that. All right. So. If, what I'll have Emmeline do, she's going to go ahead and do these two, and then I'll show you all the third one with a band. All right, so go ahead and lay on your back. Good. Uh, come down this way a little bit. I don't want your head on the ground. All right. So put your arms back. Good. She's already ready. Push your arms down. Yeah, so what she's going to need to do is push her arms down to the floor, just like that. So push straight down. Engage core, come up a little with this, and now all the weight should be in this left hip. Is that where you feel it? Good, so go down, and then we're gonna go the other one. Okay, see, we gotta straighten this out. There we go. If you can't get here yet, you can go down lower. You know, it's, we get better through time and through practice. Not everybody's gonna be able to do this. And go down. All right, can you try the other one now? Do you remember it? So, just like that. So when she does this, actually, she's actually leaning all her weight onto this side. I want her to be balanced in the middle. So there you go, go down. And again. Good. <laughs> and down. Good. So, how'd that feel to you? Good stretch? All right. So what I want you to try to do next, so she did it with her, she wasn't coming up into the bridge. No, no, stay down. 
go down and then what I need you to do is kind of like when you come up into the one hip raise up that hip and then come forward with the leg that's straight does that make sense so come up there you go but raise your pelvis no no through your heel foot under here raise up your pe pelvis there you go now that's it and then down that's another step to this it's really good do the other one now do you feel that in your hip good it's not perfect but it is you know it's a start she's a great sport all right um so the next thing i'm gonna have her go ahead and come up good she came up through her heels i don't know if anyone saw that but the next part we're going to use a band i'm going to use the green one we'll have her use the the yellow one so hold that you, and you just stay right here for a minute so the next part go down with the into a lunge when you go down to the ground, remember? And we're gonna go onto our back. This time we wanna do a bit better strengthening. So we're gonna pull these bands out and same thing, come up and down. When you're coming up, you're gonna pull that band out and down. And then we'll switch legs up down, up, down. Now, depending on your strength level is how many you're gonna do. So I don't like to give you an amount because everybody's different. Do it to where you don't feel like pain, but you feel like you're getting a good workout. So start less and work your way up each, each time. You know, maybe a safe amount would be like a good 10 times, you know, in five sets. But depending on who you are, you know, you may only be able to do one, which is okay. We all start somewhere. So, like I said, Good way to get up, I've shown in another video. We start here, push up, crawl our way up, and then push back onto our heels into a squat and come up. All right, so now go ahead and try that. So, put your feet in. And look how our feet are really close together. So we want them wide, just like that. And no, you normally would not do these with heels on. But she is that came to work with heels, so. <laughs> All right, so there we go. Undo you. Perfect. All right, so pull those apart and raise your pelvis up with one leg up. Just like that. How do you feel all that at once? Kind of getting your core, your glutes, all that at once. Yep. And your arms up there. Yep. Okay. And switch legs and pull apart. Good. You're getting a full body workout in one move. All right, so we'll go ahead and have you come up how I, sh how I just showed them. Hey, she went up through her heels. Sure, why not? <laughs> you know, she's 18, so, you know, they're, they, they don't have pains, you know. <laughs> so, but normally, you know, there's a couple ways to get up. I'll show you that real quick. How I like to go, into, go down into a lunge to get down. That's why we taught you our crawl. That's how you get down to the ground. Well, you push back up. Remember, breathe out when you come up. Push. And now, if you can't do this way, where we rock onto our heels into a squat and come up, you can actually do it this other way and come here, go into a lunge here, and push up through this heel and come up. Great, we need to strengthen those back of the hips, back of the glutes and, and hamstrings so that we can do these exercises so that we're not over dominant on the front side. All right, I hope you all enjoyed this. Please subscribe and comment below your thoughts. Follow us on uh, Instagram, Facebook and more. And then just let us know what you think. Try, last thing I will mention, do not do this unless you've already gotten good at the other exercises. There's a reason they're numbered and they're, they're in order. So. Thanks again, guys. Have a great day. And like I said, please subscribe.